Legends, it's a new year. It's 2023. I just want to ensure that all the legends have designed or figured out their goal for the year and figured out how they're going to get there. So this video is titled Goal, of course, Knowing Where We Are, Know Where You're Going and How to Get There. First thing for the legends, everybody always focuses on the goal. Focus on what's holding you back, then remove it. If it's not enough time, if it's your workplace, you can reduce it only but so much. If it's a mindset issue, lack of confidence, if it's holding you back, you got to remove it. You have to fix it and remove it. Let's get into it. Let's engage. Okay. This is very, very, very significant. Goals and systems, that is the perfect match. Goals. Goals are the end result you are striving for. A new house, a new car, passive income, which we're all going for. System. This is where everybody forgets to emphasize. System. This is what you have put in place to help you reach that goal. A lot of people forget to do or even have this part of the equation. And what I mean by that is, okay, well, I want to get a new car. Of course, you're going to ask yourself, well, how can I afford a new car? If you're on a regular, your budget's already tight. Are you going to get a side job to acquire the new car or, or something like that? Are you going to do something online? Are you going to get another job or whatever? That's what the system is. How are you going to get there? So saying, okay, I'm going to make a thousand dollars extra a month. Yeah, that's fine and dandy. But how are you going to make an extra thousand dollars a month? So this is probably the most important two components or the other, the, the loss component is the systems because everybody like, yeah, my goal, I'm going to retire by blankety blank. Good example would take the fire. I'm going to retire by 30. How? That how is very, very, very significant on you achieving the goal. So again, here at the bottom, the goals plus the system plus engagement. That's why I always say engage that execute uh, whatever equals success. Mission complete your passive income streams, the PISs. So you need to so say your goal. Okay. It's a thousand dollars a month. How the system to drip in the animal farm. There you go. You put the answer right there. Plus engagement, fully engaged. You can't reach your goal with $1. But if you know you need to get to $100 a day, you start with a dollar. Okay, I'm going to add $5 a week. I'm going to add $20 a week until this one particular farm that I'm in makes $25 a day. I want to be in four different farms. So each four of the four farms are going to make me $25 a day. And then you need to stay in there. You need to be fully engaged from the beginning throughout until you hit that goal. So the goal plus the systems plus the engagement, it takes all three. Okay, where do you gonna begin? Have you sat down and written out your goals for 2023? You can have a goals, like I said, for saving, spending, investing, and so on. However, we came to discuss the animal farming drip. What's your goal for the faucet, for the garden, for the piggy bank, for the pig pen, for the dog pound, for the farms, for the pools, and of course the reservoir? That is seven different income streams out of two different protocols. You have the ability to do it. It's just you doing it and being engaged. Let's start with the faucet. This is the foundation. That's why it's always first. How much do you have to invest? That's what you got to start with. Will I dollar course average or lump sum investment? You know how I feel because the fact that it's a compound interest thing. And if you haven't watched the drip videos, there should be one in there on the compounding versus the lump sum. And what I'm referring to is the lump sum. Okay. Me and you both have the $12,000 to invest. It's January of 2023, which it is. I'm going to take my entire 12,000 and put it into the account today, into my faucet account today. You said, no, 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 L7. 
I'm going to do a thousand dollars a month throughout the year. Uh, you know, a thousand dollars a month for the next twelve months, and at the end of the year, which one do you think is going to have more money? We both get the one percent per day, but we're starting off with me having the twelve thousand dollars in there, getting one percent. You're only going to be at a thousand dollars. Say less. Okay, that's what I'm referring to. But you always have to get in where you fit in and do what's best for you because this is an individual endeavor. Okay. What's your short term goal in the next three to six months? What's your long term goal 12 to 18 months out? We already know Forex is already out into 2024, 2025. He, <laughs> he's just trying to pause because you know, when you hear him talking, he gets so excited because there's so much to come. Anyhow, let me stop. <laughs> okay. Do you have a token goal or for a max wallet? The legends know when I first opened my wallet, Mine was nine months of straight hydration and then drain the wallet. I did not care at all about maxing out the wallet. For what? It's different if I would have needed the money. But when I started taking the claim out in January of 2022, that, that was it. I had hit my goal. And like I said, mine was never to have a max wallet. So you have to decide what you're going to do. Okay, well, I want to have at least 2,400 drip in that wallet. So at least I get one drip per day. I mean, per hour. You have to figure this out. Do you want one wallet or multiple wallet strategy? Which one are you going to use? You always do what's best for you. What hydration cycle do you use? Daily, weekly. You have to sit there with the drip fi app and see what's going to work best for you to hit your goal. Then the last one here, whose buddy address or marketing address are you going to use? If you want to sign up under the fa in the faucet, you have to have a buddy address. You do not have to use anybody at all. You know, I care less if you use mine. You're either going to use the buddy address or you can sign up under the marketing address. That choice is yours. Okay, reservoir. The, the first couple of questions going was going to be the same. How much is there to invest in? Are you going to dollar cost average or lump sum? Now in the faucet, in the reservoir, it's a little bit different. What's your short-term strategy, long-term strategy? Remember the reservoir takes time to grow your position to accumulate a nice daily income. From the day one, you put your BNB in, you're gonna receive your drop. And then each day you're gonna receive your dividend income. Boom. So now you're gonna base it on your drop goal. Okay, I wanna have 10 drops, I wanna have one drop, or I wanna have um, $25 a day coming out of the reservoir in B and B. These are the things you have to decide. And then what compound cycle are you going to use? You, the legends know I use the monthly compound cycle. I let it accumulate for 30 days. Then on the first of the month, bow, hit compound, do my 0.1 deposit. And then I keep it moving. The garden, same two questions. Well, same top four questions here. Let me get the pointer here is here, right here. Your daily LPs or your, oh, good Lord, it's supposed to be dollar value. That's what you're going to have to figure out what you're shooting for. Now, before we had to pause for the garden, you could go with the dollar value and say, okay, I want $50 a day. Boom. Or you could say, okay, well, I want to create at least 10 or two LPs a day. I want two LPs. I can sell one and send one to the farm, whatever you're going to do. One wallet or multiple wallet strategy. The legends already know about the, the, the difference and the benefit of having the difference, the different um, strategies. What hydration cycle? Daily, weekly. You have to get in there. Because you, you Remember, the garden is different. Like it says here, are you ready to play the game? Are you a betting person? Okay, first thing, are you ready to play the game? It's game theory in the garden. It's you against every other single player. It's almost 30 something thousand players in there. So it's you against the other 29,999 people in there. Boom. You need to be compound. It's who compounds the most wins the game. Are you a betting person? Why I ask that is because when you play in the garden, you are betting or hedging the bet that drip token price will go up in value. That's what you're hedging. If you believe so, then there you go. Next up, the piggy bank. Boink. 
All right, again, same top four questions. You see it there. So in the piggy bank, are you going to ladder stake or are you going to have them all shoot, the same date? Now, the legend saw when I created my first piggy bank, I had like 14 different stakes. I, I, I will not do that again. Then when I created my second wallet, I created one big stake. The only thing I should have done is put some type of time lock on there. Not no year, three year time lock, but at least a couple of weeks in order to get an extra bonus. But it's all good. You live and you learn. So that's where you have to come up to. Are you going to do the large stake or are you going to do the multi-stake strategies like I did? It's the choice. There's so many different options here to use. Okay. And can you commit to compounding every 24 hours? He will not. He, excuse me. Mastermind will not be bringing on a auto compounder for the piggy bank. He already said that. So if you put a time stake in there for three years, are you going to have the ability to sit there every 24 hours and ensure that you compound your garden? And why I'm asking that is because each time you miss out on your compounding for that day, you will lose that bonus the compound bonus and it's going to go to the other person that did hit the compound button. Bam. Okay. And then again here, how many piglets do you want to accumulate? Like I'm on my big stake, my big piggy bank in my second wallet. I'm just going for as many piglets as I can before the piggy bank turns around. You, ha you can set a monetary goal. Like hey, I want 20 million piglets or whatever. Next up, the pen, Woo. the big hog. Okay, same four questions at the top. Here, the big question is how many pigs in the pig pen? We know there's some community members like Ken from the Crypto Kings. He has 1,500 pigs. You, my goal is 600 pigs. 600 pigs should give me about $100 a day in BUSD rewards and as well as the pig the pigs dividends. Boom. Next question. Do you plan to sell your pigs? Remember, when Forex created the animal farm, his goal is to have us do like the rich folks do, which is buy the asset, either the dogs or the pigs, and stake them. Never have to sell them. You receive your BUSD and pig dividends from the pig pen, or you can get the BNB and the BUSD dividends from the dog pound, whichever. So that's going to be your question right here. Do you, will you ever sell? The long-term play, like I said, like Forex said, don't sell, live off the dividends. What's your daily BUSD or pig goal? When will you claim? Will you claim daily, weekly, monthly? That's going to be on you. And then where will your dividends be used? Have you created COPs? Are they gonna just go straight to your wallet? That That's just having somewhere for them to go. Once you claim $25 in BUSD, okay, it needs to be put to work. You should not have no stale anything sitting in your wallet. Even if you take that $25 and move it into the pool for BUSD, a good example, then at least it's working, earning you some dog tokens. Next up. Dog. Yes, that's my Doberman over there. That's Titan Adonis. Okay. Same four top questions. And the same question again here. How many dogs do you want in the pound? Do you plan to sell? And then here in the dog pound, you have the two different pounds. You have the auto compounding pound, which pays you B and B as well as no B, B USD and pigs. Or you can go into linear and earn B and B. The choice is yours. Long-term play, again, it's the same one. Buy your dog tokens, stake them in whichever the two pounds you want to put them in, and live off the dividends without having to sell your dogs. Then here, what's your what's your daily, I'm supposed to be dog LPs and your BNB &B goal? When will you claim daily or weekly? Where will the dividends be used? Again, are you going to create your COPs or are they just going to go straight to your wallet? Have a use for them. All right. Last item here. The farms and pools. 
same top four question. Now, are you going to go into farms or the pools? There is a huge difference. The farms are a combination of two tokens or coins. The pool is a single token or coin. So then you have to decide, are you going to farm for pigs? Or are you going to find farm for dogs? Then you have to take into account if you're going to go into the farms of impermanent loss. There's an MP on it. I'm not going to go into it. It's just having the ability to minimize your loss due to using a token of two, well, two different kinds of tokens. Or good example, you could have um, BUSD and DRIP token. You will have impermanent loss on the DRIP side because if the DRIP price goes down, that's where the loss comes from as compared to using two stable coins, um, BUSD and um, USDC. No impermanent loss. Enough said on that. Then, like I said, next, you're going to have a staple tokens or you're going to use other coins or tokens. Long term play, again, is the same thing. Buy whatever tokens you need or use whatever you have in your wallet, put them into the pool, put them into the farm, and level off the dividends. You should be earning either dogs or pigs. Take those dogs or pigs, put them wherever they need to go next. The COPs, you can get into that in the COP video. DMP. What's your daily BUSD? <laughs> Dogs, your dog goal. When will you claim daily or weekly? And then again, do you have your COPs and your wallets created? All right. Legends, are you ready? <sighs> These are seven. Like everything is sevens, <laughs> I guess. Okay, number one is probably the most important. You have to be in the right mindset. If you go into this... Um, with half half ass, I guess is a good word, lackluster, whatever you want to say, laissez faire, whatever attitude and mindset, you won't achieve your goal. You need to be focused. You need to be in the right right mindset. You need to have a growth mindset, willing to learn how these investments work by using the MPs, and to, in order to get you where you need to go. If you don't know about the mindset, look at the MP zero dash zero where I discussed it. Number two. You need to devise your goal. Okay, I want the hundred dollars a day from the pool, or hundred dollars a day from the farm, hundred dollars a day from the pig pen. Okay, you got that. Now, what is the system to get you there? Like I say, we're a little bit different because we have the animal farm and we have the, the drip faucet. That's the system of how to get there. Figure out the milestone. Okay, every ten dollars is going to be a milestone. So I'm, I got into this pool and now, okay, I'm making $10 check, $20 check until I get to the $100. You want to have milestones. You want to keep them, you want to measurable and attainable. You don't want to say, well, I want $500,000 a day. That's it. Next, you need to be able to track and adjust as needed. Sometimes, you know, if he's like, oh, well, I'm not, I'm not going to hit my goal by whatever date you set, say by January of 2024, I wanted $100 a day. If you only had $50 come October, November, or the middle of the year, are you going to be on track to hit that $100? Or are you going to have to add a little bit more? That's where you need to adjust. Create your COPs. Like I was saying, you're in the dog pound or the pig, the pig pen. You go in there, you claim your BUSD rewards. What are you going to do with them? Are they going to go to the pool? Or are they going to come back around and go buy some more drip tokens? Or are you going to buy Scratchy? That's what you need to figure out. You need to have it on paper. If you don't know what the COPs are, which are circles of prosperity, look at MP15. And then also, if necessary, use the money movement strategies. This is a good example is like when the farms went too restricted and the APRs went down, are you going to move to another farm in the animal farm that's going to have a better APR? Or are you going to leave it there? These are the things you need to decide. All right, legends. It's time to get down to business. It's January. You need to set your goals and set up your systems of how you're going to attain the goal. Now, remember, this is... No type of financial advice. This is for informational and educational purposes only. This is never intended as any type of financial advice because I'm not a financial advisor. I, and I want you to always remember the three important points. Number one, 
crypto is an individual endeavor. Always, always, always do what's best for you, your family, and your family's finances. Number two, we have the best development department ran by the mastermind, as well as the best community content creators, um, veterans in the faucet, new people in the faucet. Our community is 130,000 plus strong. We are committed to each other. We're committed to the protocol and to each other. And of course, number three, increase your knowledge, reduce your risk. You should know exactly what you're investing in. You should know how to invest in it in order to make a well-educated decision. That's the three. So again, here, goals. Got yours? And for all my legends, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And to all of my legends, it's still 2023. Let's go. Engage.